local center in Aiken is making a difference in the lives of our youth. They have created a safe space full of resources for third through 12th graders. Some of the kids have been coming to the Second Baptist Church Teen After School Center for years and tell me the people there are family. It's more than just after school center, it's more like home. Jatasia Moment is 16 years old and has been coming to the Second Baptist Church Teen After School Center since she was in first grade. It's more than just homework, it's like business. He trying to put us in a position to get money. It's not just about, did you do your homework? It's like, how did you put yourself in a position to be better for tomorrow? The center has been around for about 20 years, offering mentorship, development opportunities, and multiple resources. We want to make sure that we're being uh, proactive instead of reactive. We want to make sure that we're providing opportunities for intervention, right? We're combating delinquency, we're combating the recidivism rate, and most importantly, we're increasing school engagement. Right now, they have 88 kids broken up into groups coming to the center three days a week. Jeterius Pryor says he's learned a lot. We have learned um, to like personal finance. We learned about other people's religions, how to invest money. So when we come into the real world as like young adults, we'll learn how to go from there. Christopher says the kids created this space themselves. So when we come into the lab, we have a safe space for them if they want to talk about, you know, video games, if they want to do cosmetology, if they want to focus on podcasting that helps them amplify and tell their voice, uh, app development. So really just being strategic and intentional in the new job market. The teens say there are many reasons they keep coming back. Finding a way to become a better person than I was when I first came into when I leave, because I know we all got to leave one day. And then the next generation, they looking up to us, so, you know, trying to be a role model for them. This is like another home where everybody can comfortable open up to each other and just talk about whatever they need to talk about and get help and other opinions. So I'm grateful for a space like this. And it really is just a great space to have. They also focus on health and wellness and recently created a community garden you see right here. They do partner with the Department of Juvenile Justice. They also work with schools and parents to get kids in the door. And of course, if you're interested, there is an interview process beforehand. So they meet Tuesday through Thursday from three until eight. And we do have a contact uh, number for you on the website if you want to find out more. And they are good at what that garden's already growing, really coming up out of the out of the borders there. Exactly, exactly. They're really learning a lot and they just tell me they really want to serve all kids from all walks of life. And podcasting too. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Touch. So many talents. Good stuff.